From a caterpillar that causes sheer amounts of pain, to a scorpion that shoots venom in your eyes. These bugs should definitely be avoided at all costs. But first, let's find out why people call this first bug a cow killer. Number 10. The Red Velvet Ant This furry red and black monstrosity actually isn't an ant at all, although it really does look like one. Red velvet ants, or more commonly known as cow killer ants, are a type of wasp. Males have wings and can fly, but the larger females are wingless, giving them their ant-like appearance. Males and females of this species look so different, people actually thought they belonged to different species. Cow killers are generally non-aggressive, so if you find one in your house, there's no need to rush to call an exterminator. Fact is, it's probably looking for a way out as they don't like being indoors. And you also don't need to worry about an infestation as they are solitary animals. Females will look for a bee's nest to lay her eggs in, where her parasitic offspring can feed on the bee larvae. Adults, on the other hand, feed exclusively on nectar. Okay, so they're not aggressive and will not invade your home, but why is it on this list? Simple, excruciating pain. Females have a modified ovipositor that doesn't only lay eggs, they also act as stingers. Their stings are very painful, and on the Schmidt Pain Index, it ranks a 3, with 4 being the most painful. And this pain can last for up to 30 minutes. No wonder they're called cow killers. Number 9. The Blister Beetle This bug's name speaks for itself. Touch it, and you'll soon regret it. Blister beetles are herbivorous insects that are native to the eastern part of the US as well as parts of Europe, Africa, and Asia. They vary in colors and markings, but are all pretty small, ranging in size from 1.5 to 2 centimeters in length. Blister beetles get their name from their defense mechanism. In response to danger, they excrete a toxic bodily fluid called cantharidin through their leg joints. Cantharidin is a colorless and odorless fatty fluid that is toxic and can cause blisters upon contact. But, as always, there is more to this toxin story. In the old days, cantharidin was more commonly known as Spanish fly, a substance notorious for being used as an aphrodisiac and for treating various ailments dating back thousands of years. Needless to say, it didn't work. In fact, many that have tried to use Spanish fly have actually found themselves poisoned by it. Number 8. The Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider, also known as violin spiders, fiddlers, or fiddlebacks from the dark violin-shaped marking on the head, are slow-moving, retiring spiders that wander around in dim areas. They often den in footwear, clothing, and beds, and are then easily trapped against someone's skin by clothing, bedsheets, and the like, leading to the spider's bite. Most encounters with this spider occur from moving boxes or rooting around in closets or under beds. The range of the brown recluse in the US is mostly restricted to the Midwest, South, and Southeast. However, a number of related recluse spiders are found in Southern California and nearby areas. The bite of a brown recluse is extremely venomous and has led to fatalities through massive tissue loss and subsequent infection. Sadly, fatalities from brown recluse spiders have been reported only in children younger than 7 years. Number 7. The Arizona Bark Scorpion Measuring less than 3 inches in length, the Arizona Bark Scorpion is considered the most dangerous in North America. As the name suggests, it is found in the deserts of Arizona and also in California and Utah. These scorpions have an impressive set of eyes, capable of night vision. Having night vision allows these little crawlers to enter your home in the dead of night without you knowing they're even there, and despite their size, they only need a crack fractions of an inch wide to get into your home, easily putting your family in harm's way. Although highly toxic, bark scorpion stings are rarely fatal. In fact, there have only been two recorded fatalities from bark scorpion stings since they started keeping records in the 1960s. But that fact shouldn't put your mind at ease, not one tiny bit. When striking, adult scorpions inject the exact amount of venom they need to disable their prey. They can also control venom distribution when defending themselves, so stings from adult scorpions can vary from the equivalent of a bee sting to something far more painful. In contrast, baby bark scorpions lack this self-control, so their stings often contain more venom. Number 6. The Puss Caterpillar Don't let the cute and fuzzy exterior fool you. One touch of this insect can cause unbearable pain. 
The Puss Caterpillar is the larval stage of the southern flannel moth, which in itself is not inherently dangerous to humans. But when talking about the caterpillar, the story is very different. Puss caterpillars are considered the most poisonous caterpillar in North America. They are considered as such because of their venomous spines. Exposure to the caterpillar's fur-like spines leads to an immediate skin irritation, which Wiki describes as a grid-like hemorrhagic papular eruption with severe radiating pain. Victims describe the pain as similar to a broken bone or blunt force trauma. The reactions are sometimes localized to the affected area, but are very often severe, radiating up a limb and causing burning, swelling, nausea, headache, abdominal distress, rashes, blisters, and sometimes chest pain, numbness, or difficulty breathing. Sweating from the welts or hives at the site of the sting is also not unusual. Sadly, because of its cute and cuddly appearance, most of its victims are children, all of whom are unaware of the degree of pain this unassuming caterpillar can bring. Number 5. The Sydney Funnelweb Spider This Eastern Australian native spider is one of the most feared of the venomous animals down under. They are typically 1 to 3 inches long and can be very aggressive when provoked. The long-lived female funnel webs spend most of their time in their silk-lined tubular burrow retreats. The males tend to wander during the warmer months of the year, looking for receptive females. The Sydney funnel web spider is responsible for 13 confirmed deaths between 1927 to 1980. Sydney funnel web spider venom contains a compound known as atricotoxin, a highly toxic ion channel inhibitor. These spiders typically deliver a full envenomation when they bite, often striking repeatedly due to their aggression and their large fangs. For this reason, people are strongly advised not to approach them. Chances of being bitten are high if encountered. There is at least one recorded case of a small child dying within 15 minutes of a bite from a Sydney funnel web spider. For very small children, the amount of venom dispersed throughout the body is many times the concentration in an adult. Fortunately, since the anti-venom was developed in 1980, there have been no recorded fatalities from Sydney funnel web spider bites. Number 4. The Killer Bee The Africanized bee is a hybrid species of the western honeybee. These so-called killer bees were established when bees from southern Africa and local Brazilian honeybees mated. The Africanized bee was first identified in Brazil in the 1950s, but it quickly spread through Central and South America after a handful of swarms escaped quarantine. The first Africanized bees in the United States were discovered in 1985 at an oil field in California. Then, in 1990, the first permanent Africanized bee colonies arrived in Texas from Mexico. Today, Africanized honeybees are found in Southern California, Southern Nevada, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Western Louisiana, Anna, southern Arkansas, and central and southern Florida. Africanized honeybees are dangerous stinging insects that have been known to chase people for more than a quarter of a mile once they get excited and aggressive. This is why they earned the nickname Killer Bee, although their venom is no more dangerous than that of regular honeybees. However, these bees tend to attack in greater numbers, which causes more danger to humans. In other words, their venom may lack quality, but they more than make up for it with sheer quantity. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's best pick may look like a giant insect from hell, but it's not. This, my friends, is a giant isopod, a deep sea creature that is basically harmless and, according to this guy, is pretty tasty as well. But we're not here to talk about questionable seafood, we're here for deadly insects, and our next entry sure qualifies as such. Number 3. Centipedes Centipedes are predatory arthropods, possessing a specialized pair of first appendages called forcipules that are tipped with venom-injecting claws immediately behind the mouth parts. There are hundreds of species of centipedes located all over the world. Most of them pose little danger to humans, but there are some that are quite deadly. One particularly venomous centipede is the Scolopendra morsitans. The worst thing is that there are more other related species, and all of them are dangerous. That includes Chinese red-headed centipedes, Texas red-headed centipedes, and more. Each of them is gifted with painful bites that can cause extreme pain to both humans and animals. Such species goes by many colors, but one common resemblance is their red head that you can easily notice at first look. The larger they get, the larger their prey is, and always make sure not to get bitten by any of the red-headed centipede species. Another common one, so common that one could be in your house right now, is the house centipede. These guys aren't particularly venomous, but their bite has been likened to being shot. 
Fortunately, their bite, although painful, isn't all that dangerous to humans, with the only fatalities associated with them due to anaphylactic shock. Number 2. The Spitting Thick-Tail Black Scorpion It's often said about scorpions that small pincers and a thick, powerful tail indicate a more potent sting. The theory being that, armed with a deadly venom, the scorpion won't have to rely on its pincers to subdue its prey. This certainly holds true for the Spitting Thick-Tail, which is regarded as the most dangerous scorpion in southern Africa. With a lethal dose of 4.25 mg per kilogram, the venom itself is around the same potency as cyanide. The scorpion's size and ability to deliver a large dose contribute to the thick tail's reputation. Generally speaking, a healthy adult would be very unlucky to die from the sting of this scorpion as the death rate is less than 1%. That doesn't mean it would be a remotely pleasant experience, though. In addition to intense pain, sweating, drooling, muscular convulsions, and heart palpitations can occur in a third of cases. And another thing, the spitting thick tail can spit its venom up to three feet, causing temporary blindness and possible permanent damage to the target's eyes. Number 1. The Brazilian Wandering Spider the Brazilian wandering spider is a large brown spider similar to North American wolf spiders, but bigger and possessing a more toxic venom. It has the most neurologically active venom of all spiders and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. Brazilian wandering spiders are active hunters and travel a lot. They tend to crawl into cozy, comfortable places for the night and sometimes crawl into fruits and flowers that humans consume and cultivate. If the spider has a reason to be alarmed, it will bite in order to protect itself. But unless startled or aggravated, most bites will be delivered dry or without venom. Venom bites will occur if the spider is pressed against something or hurt. In this case, the high levels of serotonin contained in the venom will deliver a very painful bite that can result in muscle shock. Occasional deaths have occurred even after anti-venom treatment. Children are more sensitive to the bites of wandering spiders as the spiders often make threat gestures, such as raising up their legs or hopping sideways to the ground, which might entice a curious child. Children have weaker immune systems, and even if anti-venom is quickly administered, death can occur within minutes after the bite. See you guys next time!